Welcome to Malaysian Gospel Music. In this channel, we'll be sharing some, some songs from our local scene and uh, some stories from the writers themselves. We hope that you will subscribe to our channel, uh, like our video, and share these songs with your friends. Every time I pray was written in 1981. I was just 21 years old at, at that time. I was still studying in the University of Malaya. And the FGT was just birthed at the time with just 30 people. I remember in the early years, you know, we were very poor. And uh, with 30 people, uh, we, didn't, we couldn't afford to buy chairs. So we were sitting on the floor. And so the song is actually birthed as a result of uh, you know, need. We were praying uh, for our needs. And uh, the second verse is actually written by uh, Pastor Yun Wo, my, my colleague. And uh, he wrote, it says, When I'm weak, I'm weak and helpless, Lord, you my strength shall be. And that, that part is a reflection of you know, our need, how poor we were. And uh, that prayer is really our method of you know, asking God to help meet our needs. So all throughout the years as the church grew, you know, prayer is a very important foundation stone of the church. And uh, all our leaders you know, are required to attend prayer meetings. You know, it's a requirement, it's a basic requirement. And we always come together to pray for every uh, major uh, project, a major uh, work, we always pray. I remember very clearly when we were uh, wanting to buy the church land, you know, there was no road, there was a mud road, there was no building in the land. But when we went to investigate the land, and we were standing in the land and it was all full of mud, there were no buildings, you know, they don't even have proper roads. And we were there uh, in that building praying uh, for, that for that land, to buy that land. And after many years, after we had bought the land where we wanted to build, we were again on the same land, you know, with nothing there, and we were praying for the building. And today we have the building. And over the years, this has always been uh, the method that FGT uses, you know, that we cover everything in prayer. And we have prayed for many, many things. And today, you know, the church owns buildings and so on. But for every major project, I remember that we constantly pray, sometimes weeks, sometimes months, and sometimes years. As we pray, God always uh, met our need and God always helped us to achieve the things that He wants us to achieve. Okay, I can barely believe, you know, that the song is already 40 years old, you know, because FGT, uh, Full Gospel Tabernacle, will celebrate our 40th anniversary uh, in 2021. And uh, over the last 40 years, the church has grown, you know, from 30, you know, sitting on the floor to now, you know, about 1,000 people and they have so many buildings, you know. As, besides that, you know, they have uh, invested so much in missions. They've planted more than 150 uh, churches overseas and supporting a lot of our missionaries. And also, you know, the pioneer pastors have now, uh, you know, gone and planted their own churches in Saramban, in Malacca, in KL, in Sri Damansara. So God has been faithful, uh, but the foundation stone of the church has never changed. Prayer remains the most important uh, activity. It's, a, it's something that we depend on. Everything that we do, we always cover it with prayer. And prayer uh, moves the hand of God. <laughs> Uh, the song has been translated into uh, many languages and uh, firstly actually the Mandarin uh, translation was the one that is the most popular. In fact, the Mandarin version is more popular than the English version and uh, the, somehow the Taiwanese uh, got hold of the song, they recorded it and then it spread to China. So the Mandarin song actually has become almost like a, a folk song. You know, like everyone knows the, the Mandarin version much more than the English version. And then there are other translations like uh, Portuguese, uh, Cambodian, uh, Korean, uh, Burmese, uh, Nepalese, uh, and so on. Okay, so uh, we are really uh, praise God. You know that sometimes we go into our, our branches, just like in Myanmar or in Nepal. We are just uh, really happy to see that the song has also impacted them. And uh, especially in the Mandarin churches, you know, right across everywhere, wherever I go, people don't know who I am. But when I mention that I'm the author of this song, suddenly they are all excited and they want to take a photograph of me, you know. So that is how widespread the song has been used. And I think it's not mainly the song, but actually it's the message of the song. Is that really when we pray, God really moves His hand. And God can, can do things, uh, you know, uh, on our behalf when we pray, when we come to Him acknowledge our weakness, acknowledge our need, God often shows up and meet that need of ours. So every time we pray, we indeed move the hand of God.
mountains are removed, the path are made straight, and nations turn to again we hope that you will like our video uh, subscribe to our channel and share these songs with your friends and use these songs in your churches